We stand here in your majesty. Crazy Peace family, it's your boy Brandon McCrane, aka B Met Music, coming to you with another installment of Wisdom on Wednesday. We've been in a series entitled Faith Over Fear. Last week we discussed the enemy's form. Today I'd like to lift for you the believer's fear. We're in 1 Kings chapter 19. We're going to read verse 3 and verse 4 from the English Standard Translation, and it says these words Then he was afraid, Elijah. And he arose and ran for his life and came to Beersheba, which belongs to Judah, and he left his servant there. Verse 4. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness and came and sat down under a broom tree. And he asked that he might die, saying, It is enough. Now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. What's interesting here, uh, those that are in the medical field uh, would note a terminology called acute stress response. Those of us that are lay people, People that have no medical knowledge we call it the fight and flight response and in the life of Elijah when faced with the threat of Jezebel's threat or Jezebel's accosting of his uh, miraculous deeds he has the response of flight what's interesting about acute stress response is it is a physiological response to a perceived threat whether that threat is actualized or whether that threat is imaginary that is still a threat that has a physiological response listen Saints members and friends Friends. The enemy wants to uh, threaten you, whether the threat is perceived or whether it is real. And in most cases, as we discovered last week, the threat is a perceived threat because the enemy does not have the ability, nor does he have, in many cases, the permission to threaten your life. So we have physiological responses. And Elijah's was to flee. It was flight. He ran from Jezreel, which was in the northern kids kingdom of Israel, all the way to the southern kingdom of Judah uh, there at Beersheba. Historians say it was approximately approximately 90 miles. So the first thing we see in the believers, uh, the believers fear is this flight, is this flight. Uh, what's amazing is uh, uh, Dr. Richard D. Patterson says that when God needed the prophet the most, he failed. Allow me to say it like this. Brandon McCray would say it like this. Fear cripples us to God's call. It's amazing that many times we allow fear, this concept of fear, whether it is perceived or real, put us in a position where God cannot speak through us. So in the believer's fear, the first thing we see is flight. Secondly, we see foolishness. What's amazing is that here, the prophet Elijah does something ridiculous in the B clause of verse three. He leaves the very one that has been with him, that has seen the miraculous hand of God, that has witnessed God's hand over the man of God. He leaves him at Beersheba. Now, if I'm going to be in a fight, I'm not going to leave my help where I cannot access that help. When we are fearful, we do foolish things things. When we are fearful, we do foolish things. So not only do we see the believer's fear in flight, but we see the believer's fear in foolishness. Lastly, we see the believer's fear in futile thinking. Futile thinking. What's amazing about this is he sits, verse 4, under a broom tree, which was approximately 12 feet tall, very little shade, and he prays to die. Who praise to die. That is futile thinking. The mind is the major battlefield of every believer. What is interesting is that when the, the when the enemy can coerce you into thinking in a certain pattern, he can coerce you into changing your own life. What's amazing that I want you to know is that scripture admonishes us that we are to let this mind be in you, in me, in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. That was Paul writing to the church at Philippi. He also came back at the church of Rome and wrote these words, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Allow me to uh, uh, implore you today, to admonish you today. Do not let your faith be overrun by your fear in the area of the futile, in the area of the foolish, and in the area of flight. Listen, I okay, would like to leave it with you like this. Faith builds courage and character where fear bred chaos and contempt. Again, this has been your boy Brandon McCray. Do three things for me. Like, share, and comment on this video. Let's make something God go viral. And until next week, holla at your boy.